Today we will see about the MCQs on manual of office procedure that is useful for IPO examination, PS group examination and any other examination that is from the central government organizations. And a brief about the manual of office procedure is that the efficiency of an organization to a large extent depends on the evolution of adequate processes and procedures and the ability of its employees to follow them accordingly the efficiency of the persons handling the secretariat work in an organization can be judged by their ability to dispose of the and receipt uh, with the speed and following the procedures prescribed for the purpose so in order to create the awareness about these processes and practices uh, at the cutting edge level and to sensitize the new entrants uh, inducted at various levels in the central secretariat the department of administrative reforms and uh, Public grievances uh, as a nodal agency in the field of organization and methods uh, has laid down various procedures uh, for performance of secretariat work uh, by functionaries in various ministries and departments of the government of India in the form of Central Secretariat Manual of Office Procedure that is called CSMOP. So now we will go into the MCQs one by one regarding this uh, office procedure that is the Manual of Office Procedure. First question. Please post your answers in the comment section after reading the question. In accordance with the office procedure, which of the following statements is true? 1. Senior officer should not require any modification in or replacement of notes recorded by their juniors once they have submitted to them. 2. Instead of higher officers should record their notes, own notes, giving their own views on the subject wherever the necessary, wherever necessary, correcting or modifying the facts given in the earlier notes. 3. In any case, replacement or modification of notes which have been recorded on the file when the file has been further noted upon by the others should not be permitted. 4. Pasting over note or portion of it to conceal what has been recorded is only permissible in rare cases. 5. Where a note recorded on first instance requires a modification or an account of additional facts or error has to come to notice a subsequent note may be recorded keeping the earlier note intact. Now we have to identify which of these statements are true. So your options are A. 4 only is correct. B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are correct. C. 1, 2, 3 and 5 are correct. D. None of these. Okay, just try to understand the question. So, in the as per the office procedure, manual of office procedure, which of the following statements is correct? I will give some time and start the timer. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is C. That is 1, 2, 3 and 5 are correct. Uh, only 4 is wrong. What is that? Uh, pasting over note or portion of it to conceal what has been recorded is only permissible in rare cases. That is uh, the uh, that is said to be true but it is not correct. No, no note should be pasted with any, with any portion of the note should be concealed uh, and it is not at all permissible. It is not permissible in even the rarest circumstances also. So that is fourth one is wrong. The remaining things are correct. The senior officer should not require any modification in the notes. That means the senior officer should not ask for any modification in the notes from the OS in the office. What he has to do? He has to record his own notings below the note given by the office assistants. And if any replace in case any uh, replacement or modification of notes which have been recorded on the file then the file should be further noted upon by others and should not be permitted if they want to write they can write in addition to what it is there but uh, no notif no modification or replacement need uh, require and where a note recorded on the first instance requires any modification on account of additional facts or error it has come to notice subsequent note may be recorded keeping the earlier intact so the earlier note should be kept intact and uh, additional note may be uh, produced so that is the course of action and in no case it sh the note should be concealed or some other uh, additional pasting of uh, note sheet is not allowed next question according to the office procedure which of the following uh, statements are incorrect 
one if the officer agrees to the line of action suggested in the preceding note he will merely append his signature two blue or black ink uh, will be used by all categories of staffs and officers uh, three only one officer of level of joint secretary of government of india and above may use green or red ink uh, in rare cases uh, for the dealing hand would append will append his full signature with date on the left below his note five an officer will append his full signature with the date of right date on the right hand side on the note with the name and designation and date six notes should be typed and written on both sides of the note sheets as per the instruction of department of expenditure so in in the following list of statements which of the following is incorrect it is not correct A, four and five are only incorrect. B, one, two, three, four, five are incorrect. C, one, two, three, four, five and six are incorrect. D, none of these is incorrect. Okay, just understand the question, and I will give certain time before I start counting the timer. The first point is that if the officer agrees to line of action. suggested in the preceding note if he agrees what is written in the note he will merely append his signature that is what it is written there 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 three, two, one. okay the answer is none of this that means all the statements are correct see here if the officer agrees for the line of action he can simply sign it he need not write approved or anything else if he simply sign it mean it is approved everything everything in the contents of the note is approved second one is blue or black ink will be used by all categories of staffs and officers so everyone should use only blue and black uh, including the officers and third one is only officer of the level of joint secretary of government of india and above should use the green or red ink in the rare cases that too in the rare cases four the dealing hand should append the full signature with the date and the left hand side of the note left hand side dealing assistant will sign full signature right hand side officer will sign his full signature with the date and designation and a note should be typed on the both sides of the <coughs> paper as per the instructions of department expenditure to cut short the expenditure unnecessary expenditure if only one page one side is used then the expenditure may shoot up that is based on the instructions of the department expenditure two sides of the note should be typed on both sides next question in accordance with the office procedure indexing means a registration of receipts in the section diary as well as in diary register with the personal staff of officers b making entries in notes portion of the file about about the serial number assigned to each item of the correspondence for its identification c the process of closing a file after reaction of all the issues considered thereon has been completed d indicating its file uh, title under appropriate catchwords uh, arranged in alphabetical order with a view to facilitate its uh, location in the event of need your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 indexing means indexing means it is indicating the file with the appropriate catchwords uh, arranged in alphabetical order with a view to facilitate its location in the event of need that is catchwords means generally f is for fraud uh, and uh, d is for buildings like that it will be they are called catchwords next one according to the office procedure making of entries in notes portion of the file uh, about the serial number assigned to each item of correspondence uh, for its uh, identification is called a diarising b docketing c indexing D recording your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 the answer is it is called docketing docketing means making entries in the notes portion of the file about the serial number assigned to each item of the correspondence for its identification for more information you please watch the video that i have placed in the i button about the noting and drafting i have made a comprehensive video you can watch it so so that it will be easy for you next question 
a note recorded by president by the president the vice president and prime minister or a minister is called a standing note b note c minute d routine note your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 the answer is minute anything that is note is recorded by president vice president and prime minister is called a minute next question the process of closing a, a file after action on all issues considered thereon has been completed according to the office procedure is called a closing b recording c docketing d paper under consideration your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 the answer is recording once uh, the process of closing the file is called after all the action has been taken it is called recording so this terminology is very very important you may have to know it next which of the following are not uh, security gradings uh, on classified documents as per office procedure one is priority two is secret three is immediate four is uh, top secret five is restricted six is confidential a your options are a 1 2 4 and 5 are only are not security gradings b 1 and 3 are all not only secret not security gradings c 1 2 6 are not security gradings d none of these are sec not security gradings that means all of these are security gradings your time starts now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 the answer is 1 and 3 1 means priority 3 means immediate these two are not security gradings what are security gradings secret top secret restricted and confidential these thing, these four are the security gradings a priority and immediate they are not called as security gradings okay next <coughs> how can you recognize the difference between the security and not security is that in the not security in the security gradings uh, there will there is a need, there is a risk involved uh, if any other person sees that uh, file that is called security grading so in the secret files there is a security involved there is a top secret also there is security involved restricted means nobody should see and confidential means nobody should see so that one <coughs> which is to be not seen by others uh, is called as security grading You can that way you can remember <clears throat> next question according to office procedure a case received back for further action such as a reexamination or preparing a draft or summary of the case is called a fresh receipt b comeback case c current file d paper under consideration your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 the answer is comeback case anything that uh, any case received back uh, for further action such as reexamination or preparing a draft or summary of the case is called comeback case next question the oandm division has been set up in march uh, 1954 a standing machinery for administrative improvement we see oandm meetings happening in the circle offices or administrative offices expand oandm a operations and methods b operations and maintenance c organization and methods uh, d organization and maintenance your time starts now you you call na oandm meetings you see what is that oandm 5 4 3 2 1 dancer is organization and methods this organization and methods uh, will be defined by the De department of administrative reforms and public grievances that is called da or pg okay next as per office procedure the three basic oandm techniques are one a organization analysis material study and work management b operational analysis um, method study and work measurement c operational analysis method study work management d organization analysis method study work measurement your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 the answer is d please post your answers in the comment section organization analysis method study and work measurement these are the three basic oandm techniques next question a demi official letter 
should be addressed to an officer in the ministry or department who is ordinarily not more than certain levels below the officer to whom such communication is addressed the said levels are one level only two levels one or two levels only two or three levels only your time starts now generally whenever you write a devo letter you should be you should not be more than certain levels below officer what is it how many levels to how many levels below officer only you can write a devo letter your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 The answer is one or two levels below because it, that devo letter means it is. I have made a video on devo letter also. You can see it uh, very crisp eight minutes video. But you will understand how to prepare a devo letter and what are the contents and everything. You will how to write a devo letter also. You will understand. And here, uh, as far as devo letter, demi official letter is concerned, uh, it will be written one or two levels below or to the uh, to the officers uh, one or two levels below only. Why? Because it will be on a personal note, uh, and uh, there uh, in the letters uh, generally we don't use I, V, U, and you are. Uh, whenever a devo demi official letter is written, it will have a personal note, and uh, I, V, U, you are will be used in the letter. So it will be on a personal note. So it should not be less than one or two levels. Next one, form of uh, written communication uh, generally used for correspondence, corresponding with other departments or in calling for information from or conveying information to its employees, uh, which may also be used in corresponding with uh, attached and subordinate officers, uh, written third person or and bearing no sal salutation is a interdepartmental note b. Office memorandum, C. Demi official letter, C. Demi official letter, D. Order. Your time starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is office memorandum. That means the form of communication generally used for corresponding with other departments and calling for the information for conveying information to its employees for. In Conveying to the in its employees, which may also be used in corresponding with the attached sub offices, okay, sub subordinate offices. Next question with reference to office procedure, which is which are the following written communications to press is more formal in character and is expected to be reproduced intact by the press rather than resorting to editing and compressing or enlarge it as deemed if it is called a press note, b press communic. C resolution D office memorandum your time starts now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 the answer is press communic press communic is a more formal in character and it should not be uh, read, it should just be reproduced whatever the department has given and it should not uh, meddle with the Uh, written given by the department only editing is not editing and compressing or enlarging or that is not allowed by the press so this is straight away formal thing as it is they have to publish press note and all they can modify according to their uh, requirement based on the space availability and all those things importance and all those things they can modify but press communic as it is they have to publish they should not meddle with In accordance with office procedure, the ministries or departments uh, may ensure that while addressing communications to members of parliament, uh, proper protocol is observed conforming to their position in a warrant of protocol, b warrant of precedence, c warrant of precedence, word of precedence, d word of protocol. Your time starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is. Warrant of precedence. There will be a warrant of precedence. Uh, whenever there is a meeting, uh, then there will be a protocol that should be observed by all the departments and ministries, uh, uh, and they should be allotted the convenient seat uh, as per their protocol. That is as per the warrant of precedence. In the warrant of precedence, who should come first and who should be offered with what seat? Uh, who should be given what preference? Uh, all these things will be available. That means. in case of uh, warrant of precedence if you see uh, supreme court uh, justice will come first after uh, then thereafter only the mp will come so this uh, precedence is there so that should be observed
whenever a meeting is held the, the places of their uh, chairs and all these things also they that should be taken care of and the time limit for acknowledging or replying to each communication received from the member of parliament a member of public a recognized association or a public body is a that means what is the time limit for acknowledging and second one is replying the same communication a 15 days and 15 days for acknowledgement b 10 days for acknowledging and 10 days for reply and 15 days uh, for acknowledging and 30 days of acknowledgement for replying d 10 days and 15 days your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 the answer is 15 days for acknowledgement and 15 days uh, of acknowledgement for replying each communication received from the member of parliament or member of public okay next question a color code will be used in dual letters as per the office procedure in what color the national emblem will be exhibited in a dual letter from an officer whenever you write a dual letter from from an office from an officer what should be the national emblem color a blue b gold c red d black your time starts now 5 4 3 2 one please post your answer in the comment section i will wait few seconds again i will count five because this is important whatever you if you have not read a uh, manual of office procedure and you have come away straight away here you may be answering what 5 4 3 2 1 you may be answering a gold but the answer is red for any dual letter that is from an officer it should the national emblem should be red okay next question a color code will be used by dual letters of office procedure in what color the national emblem will be exhibited in dual letter from a minister earlier we have seen from an officer it should be red from a minister what it should be do you think it is gold red blue or silver please post your answer in the comment section 5 4 3 2 1 at times you might have seen ministers letters also the answer is blue it is not gold okay rule is such thing okay in accordance with the office procedure if a main file on a subject is not likely to be available for some time it is necessary to process a fresh receipt or a note without waiting for its return to deal with uh, it uh, another file is opened and it is called a kw file b part file c file register d main file your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 that means whenever there is a file that is submitted to the officer at the same time there is one more receipt that means uh, the same uh, in the same file there is one more paper that has come a fresh uh, after submission of the file then you have to open a part file that is called second file you will open and after receipt of the same file from the officer you will merge those two files into single file of the original one the second one is called the part file okay next question a as per office procedure the files may be recorded under categories c categories of files which will will include files of secondary importance and having reference value for a limited period not exceeding a 3 years b 5 years c 10 years d 20 years your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 the answer is 10 years so the c category files means will include the files of secondary importance and they will not have they will be having the reference value for a period of not exceeding 10 years next question in accordance with the procedure office procedure files will be indexed at the time of uh, their recording only those files will be indexed uh, which are categorized as okay this will skip they are categorized as a only b only a b a and b only c only your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 The answer is A and B only. Okay. Next question. Match the following with reference to categorization of records according to the office procedure. A category A, category B, category C. You have to match. 
वन टू थ्री आर देर वन इज द फैल दट आर क्वालिफ फर् पर्मनेंट प्रिजर्वेशन फर् अडमिस्ट्रेटि पर्पसस् अंड विच हव टू बी मैक्रो फिलम सो सर देर आर दिल बी सर्टन फैल दट शुड बी मैक्रो फिलम टू प्रोटेक्ट दोज फैल वाट आर दे का कैटगरी आर बी आर सी नेक्स्ट वन इज द फैल आफ सैकंडरी इंपारटेंस दट हेव रेफरेंसी वैल्यू आफ लिमिटेड पीरियड दट मीन की फर् स्पेसीफाइड पीरियड एर्लियर वी हव सी इट इज टेन इयर्स what is that category called files required for permanent preservation for administrative purposes but exclude the nature of material falling under the category that requires microfilming so other than microfilming thing permanent uh, preservation what is that called a a is equal to 2 b is equal to 3 c is equal to 1 b a is equal to 3 b is equal to 2 c is equal to 1 c a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 c is equal to 3 D A is equal to one, B is equal to three, C is equal to three. Your time starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. I will give you a little time. Please post your answer in the comment section. You have to identify basically the categories. What are the three categories, and you have to match it. The answer is A. This answer is D. That is A is equal to one, B is equal to three, B is equal to three means A. This uh, this is called uh, administrative purposes, which are microfilmed are called A category, and uh, this uh, permanent measure as a permanent preservation of administrative purposes except microfilming date is called B category, and uh, secondary importance is called C category. Okay, next. As per office procedure, every section. will maintain a record in the prescribed form appendix 27 for keeping note of important rulings and decisions uh, having precedent value for any ready reference it is called precedence index precedent book record retention schedule precedent role your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 it is called precedent book why precedence precedence means earlier thing if any if the rule doesn't provide any solution uh, for taking a decision in the office file in such a case uh, what will be done what has happened in the earlier instances uh, will be taken as the uh, position uh, as the rule position and uh, the decision will be taken by the competent authority to finalize the case such uh, important precedent value uh, such important files uh, or rulings or decisions that are having precedent value they will be kept in the book called precedent book okay that they will be referring next question in accordance with office procedure the re record retention schedule should be reviewed at least once in 3 years 5 years 7 years 10 years 5 4 3 2 1 answer is 5 years so the retention schedule the record the retention schedule should be reviewed once in 5 years next question as per the office procedure the files will be stamped prominently as transferred to nai and retired to the national archives of india nai is national national archives of india that are surviving the review undertaken on attaining the 10th year of the life 15th year of the life 25th year of the life 30th year of life your time starts now Five, four, three, two, one. The records or files uh, that will be they will be transferred to the National Archives of India at the twenty fifth year of the life of the file. Okay. Next question. As per office procedure, uh, that is uh, para forty one of forty one seven of uh, chapter six on the action of receipts. Uh, when a note plus correspondence portion of a file becomes bulky, that means say exceeds one fifty pages, it will be stitched and marked uh, volume one. Okay, this is an important question. Please uh, 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 watch this uh, carefully. That means. there will be two portions one is the notes portion in a file there will be a correspondence portion in a file and whenever the notes portion or uh, whenever the file becomes bulky that means it whenever the total pages exceeds uh, 150 pages uh, it will be stitched and marked as volume 1 and a new file will be opened that is called volume 2 now the question is there are four points how they it will be opened 
that is the point the page numbering in the notes portion and the correspondence portion both made a fresh starting from serial number 1 the question is about the serial number of the notes portion and serial number of the correspondence portion whether it will start with a fresh one in one and one in both the notes and the correspondence portion that is one second one is page numbers in the notes portion starts afresh from the serial one and the correspondence made in the continuity of the last page number in the correspondence portion of the earlier volume suppose the earlier volume it, it is having 150 pages the question is that whether the notes portion will start with one and one in both notes and correspondence and if the second one is that is saying that notes portion it will start with the fresh number 1 and correspondence will start with 151 third one is page number in correspondence starts with the serial 1 and the notes portion made in continuity of the last page number in the notes portion of the earlier one so here reverse the correspondence uh, will start with 1 and notes portion starts uh, with 151 last one is page number in the notes both notes portion and correspondence portion made in continuity of the last page number in the notes portion and correspondence portion of the earlier volume that means it is they are saying it is 151 in both the notes and correspondence options a one only correct b two only correct c three only d four only your time starts now important question this is 5 4 3 2 one many oas and uh, uh, who are working in circle office ros and divisional offices also find it uh, tricky the answer is four only that is the page numbers in notes portion and correspondence portion in the continuity of the last page number in the notes portion and continue on the correspondence portion that means whenever you start a new volume of file that relates to the earlier volume then the notes portion if it ends there in 150 pages of notes portion is there 150 pages of correspondence portion is there say suppose then the second volume that is the new volume uh, because of bulkiness we have opened a new volume that should start with the notes page 151 and the correspondence portion also should start with 151 that is the rule as per office procedure okay hope you understood next question as stated in the office procedure in order to ensure that the cost of maintenance of record is reasonable it is necessary that the size of records should not occupy a percent of total area allotted to a particular department that is more than 3% 5% 10% 15% your time starts now in order to ensure that the cost of maintenance of records is reasonable the size of the records should not occupy a certain percent of total area allotted to the particular department what is that it is 5 4 3 2 1 the answer is 10% of the total area size of the record should not be more than 10% of the area allotted for the particular department next question files obtained by a department from national archives as per office procedure will not normally be retained except with the latter's specific knowledge and consent for more than 1 month 2 months 3 months 6 months your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 1 it is 6 months it is 6 months files obtained from national archives will not be retained except with the specific knowledge of the officer concerned that is with a uh, specific knowledge of the national archives it is 6 months okay next as per as stated in the office procedure the files obtained by a section from the departmental record room will normally be returned within 1 month 2 month 3 months 6 months your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 1 answer is 3 months so whenever the file is obtained from a section from a departmental record room it should be returned within 3 months next question in accordance with the office procedure every classified file will be reviewed for declassification once in 2 years 3 years 5 years 10 years your time starts now classified file will be reviewed for declassification 5 4 3 2 1 the answer is five years sometimes uh, it will be classified as a secret or a top secret or 
okay we have seen that floor classes uh, classification that will be reviewed once in 5 years sometimes uh, whichever is a top secret earlier may not be top secret right now because it it is known to everyone so in such a case uh, that will be declassified next question as per office procedure if the current case uh, has reached a stage where no action can or need not be taken to expedite its disposal for at least 6 months uh, with the approval of the officer not below the rank of branch office or divisional head it may be transferred to a precedent book b call book c messenger book d routine book your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 the answer is call book it will be transferred to the call book whenever in in a case a current case it has reached a stage where that no action can be taken next question according to the office procedure every grievance petition has to be acknowledged within 7 days 15 days 30 days none of this your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 it is 15 days earlier also we have seen that from mp or public uh, any letter comes which should be acknowledged within 15 days and a reply should be submitted within 15 days so here is also 15 days next question in accordance with the office procedure a meeting less day should be observed by strict observed strictly in a week and the director of grievances and other officers of level of deputy secretary and above should remain in their offices during the specified hours to receive and hear grievances of the members of the public on every a monday b tuesday c wednesday t friday your time starts now a meetingless day should be observed by the officers and they should remain in the office to receive and hear the grievances of the members of public on every monday tuesday wednesday friday your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 1 it is wednesday so these are the rules uh, that many of them may be not aware of next question as per office procedure a sanction to advance or not a refundable part withdrawal from provident fund unless it is specifically renewed lapses on the expiry of a period of a 1 month b 3 months c 6 months d 12 months your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 the answer is 3 months sanction to advance or refund not refundable part withdrawal of a provident fund will be unless it is specifically renewed will lapse under 3 months provident fund this you should remember any other sanction will lapse normally for 12 months for provident fund it is 3 months next question in accordance with the office procedure a sanction for fresh charge unless it is specifically renewed lapses if no payment in a whole or a part of the from the date of issue of sanction has been made during the period of 1 a 3 months 6 months 12 months 15 months your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 the answer is 12 months okay we have come to the end thank you please subscribe to career post for more marks and higher rankings thank you